So it's really imperative to state again that we must have ourselves in order to some extent, and I would say a good extent, before we can really be a help or support to others. Hey guys, what's up? It's Paige here at Cultivating Harmony. Today we're going to be talking about cultivating harmony in ourselves. So the main focus of today's talk is really going to be focusing on women, mothers, caretakers, um, really anyone who nurtures other people. So one of the main teachings in Chinese medicine is the microcosm, macrocosm analogy. So what that basically means is the observation that human beings are similar to the cosmos or the universe itself. Basically, we are miniature versions of the universe. So I'm really going to focus on being a caretaker, mother nurture, um, being a woman really. We want to focus on the fact that our center or ourselves really needs to be harmonized in order to have any kind of positive impact on the world. So this observation really holds the fact that if you yourself are not harmonized, then in turn your family or your home, your immediate right environment cannot be harmonized. And if your immediate home family is disharmonized, then also you're gonna see that your community is disharmonized. And if your community is not harmonized, you're also gonna see that society at large is not harmonized. I think we can see a lot of that today, so it's very relevant. So we're really not prepared to take care of our communities if we have not achieved some level of service to our home, our husband, or our children. Responsibility, recognition, and value of self-care really begins with ourselves. Some of the sayings that comes to mind with this is, you know, the, ter uh, the phrase that we can't give from an empty cup or the inside reflects the outside. So it's really imperative to state again that we must have ourselves in order to some extent, and I would say a good extent, before we can really be a help or support to others. There's also a quote I think is by Rumi and he says that yesterday I was clever so I wanted to change the world but today I am wise and I am changing myself. So if you can't value your own health and well-being, you cannot truly show yourself compassion and how can you show others compassion if you don't even have compassion for yourself? I really find that in modern times, the first step to self-cultivation is nurturing and fortifying ourselves so that we are strong enough to face the hard work that comes with transformation and growth. So we'll start with some of the mental things and trust me I know that they're easier said than done but these are things that we should really try to incorporate if we want to begin a solid path of self cultivation. We should work on resting more, taking a break, time to recover, maybe taking 10 minutes in the morning and then 10 minutes in the evening even to just you know, take a breath, reflect, prepare yourself for the rest of the day. One thing I always recommend is to laugh. Go see a movie or go see a funny friend, right? Go out to lunch and you really will see an improvement in your mood. Another one is to practice gratitude, right? So if we can shift our focus to things that we are thankful for instead of, you know, some of the things that are really maybe we're struggling with. Read a book or listen and watch something that really inspires you, gives you a new perspective. These things can be very nurturing for our mind, body, and soul. So some of the physical things that we talk about as far as nourishing ourselves are things like stretching, um, doing yoga, going for a walk, I really recommend that people get massages, uh, acupuncture, reflexology. These things are very nurturing and can really bring you to feel uh, energized the next day. An herbal bath or creating some type of self-care routine in the evenings or mornings is a really great idea. Clear clutter, a lot of times people feel much more relaxed when there's less chaos going on around them. For those of you interested in going on a deeper level with me to incorporate these Chinese medicine methods in your life, go ahead and check out my information below. All right, thanks guys, see you next time.